Welcome back to Input Fishing, everybody. So I'm on Elmer's Beach. I've been here for a while this morning. All I've got going on so far is a hard hit taste test. I've been out here in the surf looking for trout. Had some fish, lost some fish. Don't know what it was, but I'm ready to take a break. The wind is cranking, if you can't tell. I don't know. If you can't tell, then crank your hearing aid up because it is windy out here right now so we're going to chill and put out two rods right now with fish bites fish bites and we got to get some live bait for that one so i spent some time trying to get a live bait there's not much mullet up here so i have a pompano rig here with some fish bites it's a mix of shrimp and crab this is that line that charlie sent me 45 pound test gold line over here I have a croaker rig it's double rig the pompano rig is a three hook rig I don't really expect big pompano out here there are little ones but you can catch other kinds of fish on it this one I'm just gonna fish really close in there's a trench right here Let's see if we can pick up some whiting on the fish bites that's shrimp fish bites right there We're gonna have to resort to cup bait. This came from Ray. He brought some mullet out here. I really wanted to fish a live bait, but it's just not gonna happen right now. When I first got here this morning, the mullet were everywhere, but I was doing other things. Probably just gonna catch a shark with this, but that's okay. There's been some big ones around. We're just gonna fish this on an ADOT circle hook here. on a 135 pound test steel leader we're using six ounces of lead because the current is heavy i might be getting a bite on my pompano rig looks like it possibly i was just headed out there to put out the piece of cut bait and i looked back and i saw this This could be it's out of the trench it's probably another hard head i think we have plenty of those but it'd be nice to get something else oh we doubled up we got two hard heads where are the whiting at This is a headpiece, by the way. Wow, that wind kind of slowed down a little bit. Is that a whiting? Oh, I finally caught a whiting. What's it? What's it? What's on the other one? Man, I have I had a triple. Look at this. I got a whiting. A croaker and a hardhead. Whoa, what a grand slam. So 
I got, I finally got my live bait. I might want to eat that whiting. I don't know. I don't want the hard head though. Still, this fish is still way out there. I don't know what it is yet. I haven't, it's breaking the water, but I haven't been able to see it good. It's just beyond the breaker. Trying to keep this fish's head turned so he don't go back into the deep water. He's not far off, but not super close yet. We got him past the breaker and we're about, about maybe 20 feet to the trench. It's a shark. You got a black tip earlier. I wonder if, if I got one. I've, you might. You got you got bit off, broke off several times, right? Four. Four pound. Sixty-five. I don't usually use sixty-five out here, but it's what I'm using right now. Black tip, isn't it? I, that's my first black tip. Oh, that's a good size one, too. Grab the tail and the, the dorsal. No, that's just my my lead slipping up and down. Nice. All right, guys. I want to get this fish back. They're. Sometimes these shark are very, very fragile after a big fight like that. I know you want me to show him off. I'm concerned for his well-being. I want him to live. It's not shark season anyway. There he goes. I don't know if this is one bigger fish or a bunch of fish this is that 45 pound test that charlie sent all right guys i got my shark my first black tip 
I am bored with that now. It was just supposed to be a break. So I'm gonna get back looking for trout. That'll be another video if I'm successful. Thanks for watching, subscribing, liking, sharing, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time.